Hi guys, it's Miss Shabslot, and I'm here with a garage sale thrift haul. We got a little bit of everything, some jewelry, purses, and other items. I did pick up this big old basket, cloth basket, for seven bucks. And I bought this to put, it's huge, I bought this to put in my living room for blankets and pillows. Even though I already have something, this was really cute, so I bought that. Right now it's holding all my junk, so what we'll do is we'll put this on the floor. And I'll just put stuff up. Alright. No purses. These I picked up. I already gave my daughter one. Uh, I gave her I think it was one of the watermelon ones. These were nine bucks a piece. I didn't think that was too bad at Amvets. Brand new, this one's a jean one. Coach, authentic. I didn't realize this was jean. I might have to keep this. I do have the Coach jean jacket um, that I did not thrift. I did buy firsthand. It was a secondhand deal because I bought a gift card um, locally and used it towards it. Then we got this pink one. I think I got two pink ones and I gave her a pink one and a watermelon one. Pink. I won't keep this because I do have a white one, cream one, and I just don't wear a lot of pink. And this one I thought was so cute. It's Coach with the little watermelons, and my dog ate one of my scarves, so that's fresh kill. So yeah, those were nine dollars a piece. Uh, I picked up these from a garage sale. These were a dollar a piece. And I know I need to stop buying Starbucks cups. But these are so pretty. And they're very collectible. There's this orange iridescent one. This hot pink metallic, which of course I had to have this. And the gold. I wish the gold was a tall one. But... I don't drink a lot of coffee and I honestly don't even use these because they don't keep your drinks cold very long. The The metal ones do, but these ones don't. So I don't know. I might keep this one because this one is about, I drink very little coffee because it gives me anxiety. So I might just keep the little one. It's pretty. All right. Yeah, those were like a dollar or two a piece. Uh, so I bought those. I am not supposed to be buying any more of these because I bought someone's entire stock. But she only wanted $2 for all of them. So I had to. These color streets. Um, she wanted 2 bucks for all of these. So we got this one. This one. This one. These blue ones. These black. And look at me. Nail list. I'm going to put those aside. For the Christmas party, some hot pink. These are really pretty. I'm gonna put those on this after this video. We got some mint ones, some chocolate, some football, some polka dots, some pink, dark red sparkles, black sparkles, another Christmassy looking one, gray. Here at the beginning. So yeah, all of those for $2. I could not not buy them. Because I am a crazy person. Um, okay. So let's put those there. I picked these up. Alright, now we're going to get in the shoes. I picked these up because... Oh, 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 oh. These are DKNY. And they're amazing. Amazing, amazing. Um... They're size nine. I don't know if my daughter will want these or not, but uh, I couldn't. I, I had. To, I mean, DKNY for ten bucks, and they're gorgeous. So I picked those up. Uh, I picked these up. These I'm gonna toss in the wash. These are Fit Flops, and Fit Flops has a good resale. Um, it looks like they're brand new, but they haven't been stored well. 
So they're an eight and a half. So I'm going to see if they fit me. Maybe I'll keep them. If not, they believe were resold. Um, these were six. These are for next year, though. These are really cute. Little snake skins. And these were a dollar from garage sale. I don't know. I loved them. Now I'm not sure. They're cork. Van Ellie. Van Eli. We'll see. Um, Here. This is this was $9.99. I'm not quite sure what they are. It is by Monat. Monet, whatever it is. Monat. More than a mist. And there's a bunch of these. I don't know. Are they perfume? Are they hairspray? Golden sunshine. Red jewel. They're glass. So if anybody knows what these are, let me know. They smelled really go good, and I know Monat is expensive, so I grabbed those. Uh, that's it down here, and then you do this, these bags, and then jewelry, and then those two bags. Um, okay, so I picked up this Boticare. I gotta stop buying these. They're just so good. This one was really cute, so I made an exception. It was five ninety nine in good condition all leather the nice heavy chain um this was amazing this is a furla and this is a studded furla i'm probably going to keep this one um because i don't have many that have silver um but it is this authentic for a It was seven dollars, you guys. Seven dollars. Authentic for a for seven bucks. I have found for before, but very few and far between. More so than any other designer, high end designer. But um, oh, here's my ones I bought. Okay, this I picked up. This was six at a thrift store. Uh, look at that so cute is that it's hand painted by smoking hot bags oh amazing look at them oh my gosh i love them all right let me move you guys up so we can do the jewelry then um here's some miscellaneous stuff and jewelry so i picked this up for my daughter for her tree scooby was a huge part of her growing up she was a huge scooby fan um, these I collect. I have several different sizes and colors. This one was five. I offered her three. And I have anywhere from the small, a teeny tiny one that's on a 14 karat gold um, necklace. Then I have wine bottle stoppers. I have keychain. And then I think this might be my second or the next biggest up or I have another one that um but this one I'm not sure what the red is but these are all different gemstones um mother of pearl I love these I've not seen a red one yet so I'm not sure what that is I've seen black white and blue um lapis blue and then there's a really really light blue and I have a, I have <coughs> a light blue one um, oh, we got another ornament for my daughter. Um, the rest looks like jewelry. So we got... Some of this was expensive. Alright, so these were from the same place. This one. Um, That one. 
Okay. Sorry, I have the sniffles. This room makes me so sneezy. Okay, so these, she did give me a few dollars off, um, but I love everything I got. It was, it was a garage sale, and some of her stuff was really pricey. But, again, I really love some of the things. So this was 18 but I know she gave it, you know, like I said, she wound up giving it to me like five bucks off the whole thing. And it is signed just sterling, but I thought it's so cool. Big old turtle pin. Um, this is, I believe, jade, and I can't remember what that was. And this was 12 Blazonay beads. This was 14. I really did like this. Uh, this is sterling. With the bear claw and turquoise. I thought that was neat. And lastly, this was 12. And I thought this was neat. This is sterling with the beads. And then this like art deco -y by Carol Kent. And those. Um, these were from a different garage sale. This was a dollar. I just like the way, you know, that native look with the pastels. I thought that was a neat piece. Uh, this was a dollar. This is actually my birth month, August. Salisbury Pewter. I picked that up. Um, this was a this was a dollar and super random, but I don't know. I know people like this kind of stuff. It's all glass and gemstones, quartz. Oh, that's what some of this was from, was from a, uh, a rummage sale. And this lady was so rude. They're so rude. So I got what I could. That's exactly what these were, a dollar from a, a rummage sale. This, I thought this was really pretty. It had a matching necklace, but some lady snatched it literally right out of my hand. And I wasn't prepared to fight, fight for it that day. So I picked that up. Um, these are all from the same place. I got this. This is so cool. This is marked Sarah Coventry. I believe this is Sarah Coventry as well. Um, this is just a weird little spoon. It looks like it's marked something. I just don't know what. Um, these are a set, and it is marked something Lee, by Lee, maybe? The ring is marked too, hold on. It just says, I think it says by Lee, and it's this necklace of a chonky cat in the chonky cat ring. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, it says by by re or by lee sterling silver love my daughter has a chonky cat now so <laughs> she might get that um this is sterling with the glass paint the glass and these are sterling and lapis i believe pretty this I love and bought for myself the lady was like it's from the 40s I was like okay and it is a beetle brooch I wish it was a belt buckle but it's just a brooch very cool um this is so different uh, I guess we could do this one too um I did pick up this bowl for two bucks at the rummage sale as well. And I love it. It is newer, I believe. Um, 
solid brass, Hosley brass and copper polish. But, oh, I guess it'd be great if you could see it, right? I thought it was a cool little bowl. I'm so addicted to brass and bowls. I don't know. My life. Um, okay. I got some pieces in here. Um, oh, okay. I know what these are. These were from, these I paid, these were half off. Um, only one I believe I'm keeping. And that's this one. These were 30, 32 and 35. So this one was 32. Oh, look how gorgeous that is. Gorgeous. They were half off. This one I love. It is tiny, so it would need to be size. And it has coral and turquoise in it. And this one also, this one was 32. And that's a squash blossom one. Again, need to be sized if you have bigger fingers. And these will be for sale. Everything so far that you've seen is for sale. If you're interested in anything, please let me know. Um, this I paid $7.99 for. And it's just a sweet little bangle with, I believe that's uh, Mother of Pearl. We got that one. And then this one was $11.99. I don't know why this one was more but they're both sterling this one bent. needs to be reshaped i believe Whew, it's warm in here this one is marked abigail sterling yeah i believe that goes that way so that's really cool actually i really like that so I picked those two up, and this one is, this one was $7.99, I thought this was unique, um, again, sterling silver, with these little beads, this last bag of jewelry um, was from a jewelry jar. I paid, I want to say it was $30 for the jar, and this is what, the things that I liked the best out of it, um, this was from a while back, so, I'll show you what we have, we have some rings, and I believe... These are not marked. All right, so we got some teeny tiny, teeny tiny little rings. Um, this guy is sterling. It's one of them things that goes on your ear, ear huggers. These are sterling. And this is just a wire wrapped ring. This is a sterling charm or chain. I don't think that, that I don't think the charm is real. The chain is just needs to be clean. It's a long, long rope. I don't think that one is though. Um, this is sterling, I believe. Because one of these I found. I bought just not too long ago at a yard sale. Turned out to be gold. And I thought it was sterling. But it's not. This one says. Eight hundred. Something something eight hundred. Eight hundred. I don't know. I can't really see. I have to double check though. Glass beads. What the heck does that say? 
looks like it says 168V. Maybe it says 900. Well, it looks like it says 800. So 800 silver. Is that like coin silver? Um, this I thought was pretty. It's marked OMOS. Um, I think this is sterling. Yep, this is sterling, gold over sterling. Bracelet. I can't tell if that's blue or black. It's really pretty. I bet you those are little teeny tiny diamonds in the middle. We got some weirdo earrings. They're amazing. Little uh, fork and spoon. If I would have had, I could have worn them to Thanksgiving. <laughs> Um, I don't know why this is, <gasps> oh, I don't know why that's in there. This is Michael Kors. Okay, a little pulley. Um, this is not marked. But it is really pretty. Put that to the side. This I thought would be cool to engrave. Um, this is a 14 karat gold necklace with, I believe that's an emerald when it's clear like that. Let's see. Super, super dainty. I don't even want to get a little knot in that because it would just be over. Very dainty with a diamond. And I don't know. I thought emerald, or maybe that's emerald cut. I don't know what's clear. Topaz clear? I thought emeralds could be clear. Maybe I'm completely wrong. But again, this jar was 30 bucks, so we've already made our money back. This is marked 14 karat. I don't think it is because it's not marked on here too. So I don't think it is. Uh, this is sterling. I know that. Sterling and JBJ. Nice southwestern motif sterling bracelet cuff um 1985 convention psi not quite sure who that is this cute little kitty pin this i thought was super cool it's an ace charm made of glass Another ace card, ace of spades, ace of hearts. That's a spade, though. <laughs> um, we got these earrings. There's another one in there. This is not marked, but that's pretty. This is marked Emons, E M M O N S. This is beautiful. This is marked Alpaca. Uh, is a brooch and a charm. There's another earring. This is a 14 karat gold S, which I will be keeping. This is a sterling the Marcasite little butterfly. 
This is a Sterling Mexico. The keys? I'm not quite sure. Charm. This is amazing. This is Sterling. It is a little oh, saddle. Amazing. Get out of here, Koki. Um, this Veterans Administration Administration 25 years of service. I don't know if that was Sterling or not. Let me look. Um, Sterling, yeah. Uh, then we have these, which I'm not sure exactly what they are. And this Sterling heart. Puffy heart. Easily cleaned. Oh, and this. Um, I don't know what this is. It says DA Norway Sterling. And it's this enamel like goddess. Is that a zodiac sign? I don't know. So that is, oh wait, yeah, that's the jewelry. We showed this already. Oh no, this is a different one. This one is also sterling. And that's it. Okay. Now let me show my last two purses. This I paid $100 for. I have never seen this before. It is, I love, I loved it. It needs to be cleaned. Um, but again, I'd never seen one like this before, so I had to have it. It is a authentic Gucci bag. And this is my new, like, Florida bag. Um, it's this rope handle. And this. I don't even think it was 100. I think it was 75 and then shipping and tax came to 100. But have you ever seen this before? Like, this is all leather. And then you got Gucci with the... All my favorite things. Again, it needs to be cleaned. And then... And I normally wouldn't have spent this much. However, I've never seen this bag. I did look it up and I found bags, the same bag, but they, it was much more expensive. Um, but I am obsessed. This is gonna, I'm gonna clean this up, clean up the leather. Leather's not bad at all. Um, just this stuff needs to be cleaned a little, shined up. And this is gonna be my summer bag. I absolutely love it. And last but not least, I have never had this bag. I've wanted it. But it was always super expensive. Um, this one I got for $100. And it's in amazing com condition. And it is this Louis Vuitton bag. I forget the name of this. Sack to something. Um, so it looks like this. But it's not technically a bag. It's a backpack. And you put your stuff in. And then you close it. Like this. And then it has two handles. You could either wear it as a backpack or a sling bag and this one is in when I tell you it is an amazing condition there is like the bottom is a tiny bit rough but for its age this bag is great the leather is good I am super excited about this bag even came with the dust bag and it's been authenticated it's got this little snap out um, bag right there but the inside is great like I got an amazing deal for a hundred dollars on this bag for sure um how often I'll use it I don't know because I have my backpacks and my duffel bags I will use it once or twice but I couldn't I'm I'm addicted and I just have problems so <laughs> I have an enormous Louis Vuitton collection um, okay, so that's my haul. I hope you guys liked it. If you do, stay tuned. I also do jewelry bag, um, jewelry jar openings, um, and jewelry hauls. So if you're interested in those, take a look at my channel. As always, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.